question, the member for Carleton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Finance. Yesterday, we were thrilled to join the Minister and the Premier of Ontario in this House for the 2019 Fall Economic Statement. And, Mr. Speaker, our government for the people was elected with a mandate to restore confidence in Ontario's finances and put more money back in people's pockets. The minister's statement made one thing very clear. Our plan is working. We are bringing relief to families and businesses in my riding of Carleton and across Ontario. And through you, Mr. Speaker, could the minister please elaborate on yesterday's exciting announcement and inform the House on our government's plan to finally bring our budget to balance? Thank you. Questions to the Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member from Ottawa, Carleton. I know she does great work for her, uh, for her constituents. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, yesterday I was pleased to announce our plan to build Ontario together and to speak, Mr. Speaker, to this House and to the people of Ontario about the progress that this government is making. Mr. Speaker, we were able to announce that we have made progress on the deficit that we inherited, that we have moved the deficit from $10.3 billion to $9 billion next year. Mr. Speaker, we were also able to announce that we are making $1.3 billion more of very important critical investments in the key services that our province uh, requires. Mr. Speaker, our government is focused on making sure that we balance the budget by 2023, that we also invest in key services, and that we make a difference for the people of Ontario, and Response. that this province is the kind of home of prosperity that we know that it should be. Thank you. Member for Carleton, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for his response. It's great to see that our government is continuing on our prudent and balanced plan to build Ontario together. And I can see that the vision put forward by our Premier when we were elected 16 months ago is becoming a reality. Thanks to our responsible fiscal management and our government's focus on making positive change for the people of Carleton and Ontario, we are seeing results. Could the minister please explain the approach our government is taking to solve the challenges we inherited due to 15 years of liberal waste management and neglect? Minister Finance, to reply. Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member. Mr. Speaker, we are taking a balanced and prudent approach. We are balancing three sets of priorities. We committed to put money back into people's pockets, and Mr. Speaker, we have put three billion dollars back into the pockets of Ontarians. Mr. Speaker, we promised that we would put Ontario on a sound footing, and Mr. Speaker, we have reduced the de deficit down to nine billion dollars towards balancing that budget in 2023. And Mr. Speaker, we promised we would invest in critical public services like health care, education, and children. And Mr. Speaker, we increased that investment yesterday by 1.3 billion dollars. This is the balanced, prudent approach we are taking. This is the approach that Ontarians expect.